get ready for the ultimate clash of MMA titans at UFC 193. Witness the unstoppable force, UFC bantamweight cocky champion Ronda Rousey in a face-off against the formidable Holly Holm, a battle that will redefine the octagon. Say less. At the stage is set, the curtains are drawn and the heat is on. It's the battle for the ages. One championship, one belt, one victory. Will the cocky Ronda Rousey continue in her reign or will the daredevil preacher's daughter put the insolent champion in her place? been in many more situations than always have been and I'm more prepared than she is for this and I'm gonna win on Sunday. She says she's rowdy, that she's the baddest woman on the planet and her 12-0 record says all you need to hear. Nine submissions. So, but no, she has full bound, now ground and pound, and Tate gives up her back. Looking for the arm. Misha lands up on top, look at this! Wow! If Misha's got Did she just snub Tate's hand? Trust me, Tate has seen better days, but Davis was lucky not to break any bones. Good overhead right by Ronda. And a big throw down. Then correct. With the knee now. Metro has big trouble. There it is. Hey, Kamush. Rousey. More pressure. She's looking for it. She got it. Three knockouts, 12 fights, and only Miesha Tate had gone more than a round in the octagon with Rowdy. Body workout. Every set was three exercises. When she's training, it's laser focus. She's not playing around. I think I'm going to. In 2004, Rousey's colleagues said she would kill the girls in MMA, but they also believed she was too pretty to get hit in the face and should continue practicing judo. In amateur MMA competition, Rousey is undefeated with a record of 3-0, and her total bout time is less than two minutes. On March 27, 2011, she made her professional mixed martial arts debut at King of the Cage Turning Point. In 25 seconds, she used an arm bar to submit Edian Gomes, the co-main event of UFC 175 on July 5th, 2014, featured Rousey defending the UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship against Alexis Davis. Her victory came via first round knockout with 16 seconds remaining in the bout. Rousey fractured her thumb in the altercation Rousey received her second performance of the night bonus for the decisive victory. Knee, hip toss, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's all over, just like that. The UFC 182 card included a women's bantamweight title bout between Rousey and Kat Zingano. Nevertheless, the bout was rescheduled for UFC 184 on February 28, 2015. Prior to Conor McGregor's victory over Jose Aldo, in 13 seconds, 11 months later, Rosie's 14-second armbar victory against Zingano was the shortest battle in UFC championship history. Go! Tonight's fight clock! Wow, wow. right wow. down! Look at that! To make it happen quickly. Yeah, she gave There's the arm! She gave it it is she Holly Holmes, the preacher's daughter, is doomed for defeat, or so it seems. Ronda Rousey now thinks because she has been wearing beach shorts she can fart sunlight. Know thyself, know thy enemy, and you need not fear the outcome of a thousand battles. But it seems the brash Rousey didn't get the memo, and Holly Holm will enjoy the opportunity to put the noisy champ to sleep. But Holly Holm has built a fearsome reputation that earned her this challenge for the bantamweight title. The preacher's daughter had won every fight up to this point since her debut. Her background in professional boxing and kickboxing provided her with exceptional striking skills. Holmes' precise and technical striking, combined with her ability to maintain distance, made her a formidable opponent on her feet. Here she stood her ground. Holmes' adaptability and versatility in different fighting disciplines were also crucial to her success. Transitioning from boxing and kickboxing to MMA, she showcased a well-rounded skill set. Her willingness to continually evolve and expand her skill repertoire allowed her to navigate various aspects of combat sports effectively. Holly scored a technical knockout using head kicks and punches against Werner. Here comes the finish! Here comes Holly Holmes! 
split decision against Pennington. Holmes' athleticism and physical conditioning were additional assets. Her agility, footwork, and overall athleticism allowed her to dictate the pace of the fight and avoid being cornered by opponents. In 2012, she was named Female Fighter of the Year and also received an award for Female Fight of the Year. Although she's got a decent nine-fight winning streak to her name, Holly Holm enters this fight as an underdog. After all, she did not outclass her opponents like Ronda Rousey. This got her severe disrespect from the champ, and Holly decided to leave everything in the ring, no matter what it takes. Enough trash talk and not long after, the day would come Rousey versus Holm. The atmosphere is electric, buzzing with anticipation and excitement. The air in the arena is thick with a mix of nervous tension and the raw energy of a high-stakes showdown. Fans pack the venue, their cheers echoes like thunder as they await the clash between the dominant Roussi and the underdog Holm. The stadium lights cast a dramatic glow on the canvas, creating an intense focal point for the unfolding spectacle. As the fighters made their entrances, the crowd erupted in cheers and roars, amplifying the anticipation to a fever pitch. In this arena, time seems to both stand still and fly by, creating an unforgettable atmosphere that captures the essence of high-stakes sports drama. In a comedy of unexpected twists, Holly Holm, the underdog, enters with a grin that says, I've got a secret weapon, the power of surprise. Meanwhile, Ronda Rousey, the unstoppable force of nature, strutting into the octagon like a peacock in a judo G. The bell rings and it's like a slapstick comedy unfolding. Rousey, usually dispatching opponents with lightning speed, suddenly finds herself in a slapstick ballet with Holm, who seems to have taken a crash course in dodgeball. It's as if Rousey's punches are guided by GPS, and Holm is a slippery eel, dodging with the finesse of a salsa dancer, avoiding a clumsy partner. Then comes the grand finale, Holm channels her inner matador, and Rousey charges like a bull, only to find herself face first on the canvas. The collective gasp from the audience is drowned out by a symphony of Udo. Holm, the unexpected comedic genius, has knocked out the unstoppable force, leaving the world in shock. GPS guides Rousey's punches, coaster of emotions, with gasps and cheers rippling through the audience when the fighters exchange blows. The atmosphere intensified with every dodge, weave and strike, creating a palpable energy that seemed to surge through the crowd like a wave. Holm directs a powerful slam into Ronda Rousey that dumps her on the canvas. The preacher's daughter follows up the whack with a heavy blow that ripples through the body of the dethroned champion. The unexpected turns of the fight adds an extra layer of suspense. Could this be the upset of the decade, turning the atmosphere from tense anticipation to wild disbelief, symphony of uh oh, drowning out the collective gasp from the audience of cheers, gasps, and crazy excitement as the cocky champion gets a taste of her medicine. This is a moment etched in the memories of those lucky enough to witness the spectacle firsthand. A fight where the unexpected became the punchline and the punchline became a knockout. Mental toughness played a significant role in Holmes' success, notably. In this fight against Ronda Rousey, she displayed composure and executed a game plan that made the most of her strengths, ending the streak of the insolent champion. Holmes staying focused under pressure and performing at the highest level in high-stakes situations contributed to her success. Her dedication and professionalism outside the cage were evident. Her commitment to training, staying in peak physical condition, and her respectful approach to opponents showcased a disciplined and well-rounded athlete. Holly Holm's greatness as a fighter can be attributed to her exceptional striking skills, adaptability, mental toughness, athleticism, and dedication to continuous improvement in various aspects of mixed martial arts. I love waking up slow knowing I, I'm still a champ and there's nothing to worry about anymore. And... Not today, Rousey. Monday belongs to the preacher's daughter. If you enjoyed this, don't miss out on our episode of Destruction of Cocky Fighters starring John Jones. See you there.